All right, I got this rear frame section right here. It gets sectioned in right here. There's actually a factory seam where it slides inside of the frame right here. I'm gonna start on that. I have to cut this back section off. This is the one we found it crushed right here from getting hit in the back. So there's no, no repair in that on this frame. So we have the suspension drop loose disconnected from the back half of the frame section. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting it apart. There it is. It's loose. I have it wired up, holding it in place right now. But it's ready to come off. And I got the section of the frame off. Now I have to trim back this. There's still the remaining little piece of that old frame in there. I'm gonna trim all that off now. I got my sectioning joint all cleaned up, ready for the new piece. I have the new frame piece cleaned up where I'm gonna be welding at. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on there in a second and start measuring out and getting it fit up. I got this frame piece all fit up. I had to rig something up in the back in order to support the back of it. But that's holding it and I'm gonna do some measurements on it and get it exactly where I want it. I got this one all measured out, measures out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and start welding my seams up. I got my two seams welded up. Now I have these plates that come with the frame section. There's one that goes on the top right here. I have to weld on, and there's one that goes on the bottom that I gotta weld those solid all the way around on both, both sides. I'm going to coat all of this with a coat of epoxy primer, then I'll finish it out with a black easy coat after that. Alright, this one is about ready to go back together. I'm going to put some cavity wax inside of here to protect it from corrosion and then it'll be ready to put the axle back up start getting it put together 